Harry and Meghan produce a Hollywood flop themselves. So reads a recent headline in the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. At the Authentic, we've been turning out videos about Meghan and Harry regularly for a couple of months now. We began this project because we were, and remain, so very tired of the majority of Meghan and Harry commentators describing the couple as woke, trying to pass them off for liberals, and, by extension, laying all their shortcomings at the feet of all of us who live comfortably on the left of the aisle. Say again, Meghan and Harry are not representative of any political persuasion. What they are representative of is a not very bright victim caught in the trap of a not very bright narcissist. Now, as Spotify gives the couple the boot, and Dior rejects them, and their popularity ratings tank in both the US and the UK, and the Netflix people hand them an ultimatum, we have to ask, as one Netflix executive apparently has already, is the lemon truly squeezed dry? Have Meghan and Harry really blown their wad? Is it actually, factually, all over except the tears? Is it time to turn our attention to more worthy people, more worthy matters? Prince William's campaign to end homelessness, the pleas of Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, for women to make appointments to get mammograms in the wake of her own breast cancer diagnosis. Is it futile to continue to try to make the point that Meg and Harry are no liberals but concerned only about their own celebrity and using traditionally liberal causes to try to enhance their own brand? As futile, perhaps, as traditional conservatives trying to make the point that Donald Trump and his MAGA hordes are no conservatives, but only hijacking an entire political party for their own power and monetary gain? What do you think? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching.